Hey, what's up? It's Blake. Finally got some sunshine. One of the ways I make money is by going to thrift stores like that, a Goodwill or a Salvation Army, finding valuable things and reselling them online on eBay, Amazon, or wherever I can get some cash, to be totally honest. If you want to do that, learn some skills, learn a side hustle, watch this video. I'm going to show you the things I look for in these stores, and at the end of the video, we'll go back to my warehouse and have a nice recap to see what the profits are and some tips hopefully you can learn for when you do this. Generally, my first stop in a thrift store is the media section. I'm looking for TV series, uh, valuable video games, or new sealed movies. Didn't find any. Next, electronics. This is an old Dymo label writer. I'm going to pass on that. It's, you know, cool, but it's old. But behind it, which is also old, I'm not going to pass on, is this. It's new dead stock. Not going to sell fast, but it is valuable. Going over to shirts now, I'm looking for flannel shirts. That's a personal preference. I like selling flannel shirts. I kind of understand the market. So I'm looking for any brands that stick out to me. And this one right here did stick out. The tag especially. Now look at this. It's a L.L. Bean, uh, probably 70s, 80s flannel shirt. I'd say the first stop was a success. And that vintage L.L. Bean flannel, it was actually free. I filled the survey out, got a free shirt. So at the end of the video, I wanna show you how I know it's vintage and not just old looking because sometimes it's hard to tell. All right, next stop, and I feel good about this. If you feel good about this, or if you feel bad about this, <laughs> I'm not picky. Like the video, give it a big thumbs up, uh, and tell me, should I cut my hair? I'm just seeing myself right now, and I think it might be time for a trim. Nice to see video games. I ended up passing on this. I put it in the cart just in case, but it wasn't really priced the right way for me to guarantee that uh, I'm going to make money on it. It could be broken. Who knows? I also have a lot of consoles already in my warehouse. This Wink thing right here, I didn't know if it was hooked up to an account. If you could transfer the account, I didn't know. Uh, too many unknowns, so I passed on it. What's not unknown is that these little handheld CD players sell good. I checked for corrosion. I always do that on small handhelds. You never know when you're going to get some busted up batteries in the back there that ruin it. Over here, there was a, uh, a DVD-VCR combo for 30 bucks, but I passed on that. Looking through clothes, I'm not really a clothing seller, so it has to be like exceptionally good or a really easy sale, or at least easy to list for me to buy it. Uh, what I found over here was a Pataloha. Uh, like short sleeve button down. Pataloha is Patagonia. This one in particular is made with hemp and polyester, so I think it'll be an easy sale. I went over to Media. I'm looking for anything new, sealed. This place gets picked over hard, but I was lucky enough to find these Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, uh, what are they called, like volumes of a, of a TV set. And then for toys, what I'm looking for here are name brands. Uh, most of the Leapfrog toys I can use on my Demo Everything channel, so I can double dip and sell those and also make some money off affiliate commissions. This one was torn, so I put it back. Now let's talk about everything I bought. So you can see here pretty much what you saw in the video. Uh, the books, the sci-fi books, they're all the same author. Those are going to get allotted up together. The hardcover books are going to be sold individually. These Dr. Quinn, I thought I could do a, a DVD lot, but I'm going to do them individually on Amazon. It makes more money that way. And then this shirt, the L.L. Bean shirt. So the tag says Freeport, Maine, made in USA. That tag is 70s or 80s. All you have to do is Google tag plus brand plus timeline, and you'll learn a lot about how old items are. All right, we're back at the warehouse after a long day of work. I tallied up the estimated profit on all these items, and the number is $468 minus 100 bucks to buy it all. That puts us at 368. Now, the big winner was the Logitech Remote, Logitech Harmony 880. I will get about 75 bucks profit off of that. The two shirts were okay. They might take a while to sell. The Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, I thought it was a set, it's not a set. It's just like various volumes of the same set. I should get about eight bucks profit per, with the exception being the movie disc. The movie disc will make me about 25 bucks profit. So when it's all said and done, I did pretty good. Nothing here takes a lot of work to list. I hope you learned something, and as always, don't be a sh